All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to actually create a bootable PE media uh, and include driver device drivers uh, in said bootable media. So once you have your management console installed, everything is set up, you can go ahead and open it, select tools, create PE image, you will go ahead and select one of these two options, uh, either creating it automatically or using uh, a specific WinP file that you have uh, located, uh, you specify yourself. From here, you can include any optional features you may want uh, for this bootable media, either an auto start or uh, setting up any sort of network settings you may need. Uh, when pointing to the OS deploy server. We will go ahead and select the media type. In this case, we want to do a Pixie server media type. You will need to include the IP address uh, and username and password of the machine where the Pixie server is installed. From here, you can actually put a password protect on the, on the uh, WinPE media itself uh, to ensure that no unauthorized users are going to be accessing it. And then from this screen here is where you will actually be specifying any drivers that you wish to add to the media itself. Now I've gone ahead and already downloaded some drivers. So we're going to go ahead and Go ahead and find these. Now in this particular instance, you will only be able to accept or to actually include INEI files uh, to this media. So just keep that in mind as a lot of uh, media itself will actually come as executables instead. Let's just go ahead and include this one. You can see it will auto-populate the driver information. As you can see here, this is going to be for uh, various ethernet and network devices. Go ahead and hit next. It will give you a brief summary of exactly what you're creating. You can go ahead and create it, and this will actually begin creating the media, and then uh, in this particular instance, it's going to automatically upload it to our Pixie server on our host machine. And from there, we will go ahead and successfully finish creating the bootable media, and go ahead and click OK. You can see there, we'll now replace the existing bootable media that we had on the server. From here, uh, once you utilize this, you can include uh, the drivers in the installation uh, when using this bootable media uh, to deploy uh, any images that you may need uh, on, a on an existing uh, machine that may require these drivers. And with that, we will conclude the video.